In this video, we will compare Airtable and Supabase. If you guys want to get started with either Airtable or Supabase, you can use the links given down in the description. When comparing Airtable and Supabase, both platforms serve distinct purposes and cater to different types of users. Airtable is a user-friendly tool that combines spreadsheet and database functionality, allowing teams to manage and organize data in a visually appealing way. It's ideal for project management, collaboration, and handling data without requiring coding knowledge. Airtable is perfect for businesses and individuals who need to create, organize, and share structured data with features like customizable views, templates, and integrations with other tools. Airtable offers several pricing plans, including a free plan, a team plan of $20 per month, a business plan of $45 per month, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. Supabase, on the other hand, is an open source backend as a service platform that offers a more developer-focused solution. It provides a PostgreSQL database, authentication, real-time data, and API management, making it a great choice for developers who need to build scalable web or mobile applications. Supabase offers robust features for managing databases and handling more technical development tasks, allowing for greater control and customization than Airtable. Supabase offers several pricing plans, including a free plan, a pro plan at $25 per month, a team plan at $599 per month, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. In my opinion, Airtable is best for teams or individuals who want an easy-to-use, no-code solution for managing data and projects, while Supabase is ideal for developers looking for a back-end platform to build and manage applications. Your choice depends on whether you need a simple data management tool or a powerful back-end development platform. So that's comparison between Airtable and Supabase. Make sure to use the links given down in the description to get started with either Airtable or Supabase. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.